coming up on iPads in the Classroom, Poetry and Rhyme Apps. Hi, my name is Guy Tranin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEd. And today I want to talk about making poetry and rhymes. And I'm going to especially talk about rhymes, so let's start. Uh, the first app I want to talk about is an app called RhymeLite. And RhymeLite is very simple. There's obviously a non-light version that will supply you with a little bit more. But this is a great app because if you're looking for a rhyme for any word while creating poetry, and kids tend to get stuck on rhymes. What you can do is simply add or put in the word, let's say runt, and you select it. It's got a very large library. And then what you get are one syllable and two syllable rhymes. So you can see some options, blunt, brunt, bunt. And here you have a front, confront, forefront. So this is a very rich uh, dictionary. And you can also jump to other words as well. So you can, in this case, I jump to the word sponge and you see there's gunge, lunge, plunge, and expunge. So even with words that I would have a really hard time coming up with rhymes, this very simple app comes up with rhymes on the fly. And then it's an opportunity to have kids look some of those words up and uh, expand their vocabulary. So it's a sneaky way to get them to get new vocabulary. So this one is Rhyme Light. The next app I want to talk about is Rhymer's Block. And in Rhymer's Block, what you do is you simply, when you're blocked, you can start working. And there's a rhyme book, so you can add a new one. And you can just write. So, so as I'm writing, you can see that rhymes come up. So I can uh, keep on writing. And as I'm writing, they come up with new rhymes based on the word I just wrote. So fun are the things. And you can say, you can see. So I picked up one of those rhymes, things and brings. And you see that it highlights the rhyme as well. So it's a great way to support any writer that is trying to write in rhyme by identifying words and helping as you go along. And you can totally ignore that or you can actually expand this. What I love about this app is this app works on the iPad. It'll also work on your phone or an iPod Touch, which means that if you have kids bring their own devices or you have other devices available, this will work just as well. So this one is called Rhyme Block. The next one I want to talk about is called Prime Rhyme. And in Prime Rhyme, you get a very similar app to the previous apps we've seen. All you do is you write your word in there, you press search, and you can see that the rhymes come up. Again, a very rich library with lots of words, and you can see that they come up with very close rhymes like confront and not so close rhyme, rhymes like blunt or shunt. So kids can start making those distinctions and making those decisions about what kind of a rhyme scheme they want to have and how closely do they want it to rhyme. So this one is called Prime Rhyme. So these three apps were all about the rhyme. The next app I want to talk about is an app that actually allows you to create the poetry on it. And this one is called Word Mover. And Word Mover is from Read, Write, Think. It's a great tool to write poetry quickly with kids. And now that we've got all of those rhymes, and remember, because it is the iPad and you can have multiple things open at once, you can open this. And then when kids are looking for a rhyme, they can switch to that other app, get the rhyme, and bring it back to this app. So all you do is you take a piece, uh, in this case, I'm going to just take an untitled work that I've started. And you have lots of words here in the word bank. So I can have flat and then add a word. 
And now is the time where I'm thinking, hmm, what rhymes with flat that I want to include in my poetry? One way to do that would be to switch over to one of our other uh, apps that help us get a, a rhyme. Let's say this one. And we write flat. And I get bat, brat, I like brat. So now I'm going to switch back to my word mover. And I'm adding the word brat. And now I've got this. And I can form the rest of the sentence. So this is word mover. It's very much there are a few apps like that out there, some of them uh, for money, some of them free. This one is for free. It's very easy to create in it. It's even easier to share. It creates a picture that you can send by email or you can save as one of your photos. And one of the things that I like about this specific one is because you can manipulate the words, you can actually also focus on the arrangement in space and you can have something that looks more like stairs. So you can give uh, the poem some space as well as f a focus on the words, and in our case, the rhymes. So today we talked about a few apps that help create rhyming poems. Uh, we talked about three rhyming apps and one uh, app that helps actually make the poem on the screen. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. <laughs>